uh, can create virtual worlds that could never exist in reality. That no one has ever thought about. That I'm the first one to really build and make visible and make accessible to people. At the University of California, San Diego, researchers use the most sophisticated 3D virtual reality technology to bring raw data, billions of numbers in a computer, to life. We can walk around in them, things can happen in them. They're a lot like a big computer game, only that you have a lot more freedom designing what you really want to do. I'm Jürgen Schulz, I'm a project scientist at the CalIT2 Center, that's the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology at the University of California in San Diego. He's part computer scientist, part virtual reality researcher, and part video game designer. I develop software and research user interfaces and display technology for virtual environments. And this room is called the Star Cave, where Jürgen's clients get to literally stand inside their own research. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Now we can see the, the surface of the protein. The Virtual Reality Center here at the University of California in San Diego is the leading virtual reality center in the world. This is really valuable. This researcher is studying the molecular structure of proteins. It was Jürgen's job to turn her raw data into virtual reality. This is fantastic because this is something that typically is on the order of about, uh, you know, a billionth of a meter in nanoscale. Her research will help develop new drug treatments for diseases such as African sleeping sickness and bird flu. This is a protein that's involved in African sleeping sickness. So we're trying to develop drugs that actually will bind inside this protein and prevent it from working. This cave environment is composited out of 15 screens. Behind each screen is a computer that drives two projectors, projecting high-definition quality images on the screen. These are the kinds that um, you might find in the gaming environment. These are high-end gaming machines, really. We use a very advanced optical tracking system. It's based on infrared light. You can grab things, put them somewhere, and then grab something else, put it somewhere, change a dial, and it works much like a Wii device, but it's really, truly three-dimensional. And Jürgen is constantly finding new ways to benefit science. Like this revolutionary approach to surgery. And when you look at this CAT scan from the back, we can see that there's half a disk missing. The high resolution and 3D environment of Jürgen's star cave can allow surgeons to take more precise measurements of complicated anatomy. The doctors are able to make fewer mistakes, be more confident, and have the information readily available and thus be able to do faster surgery. The Star Cave is also helping brain researchers by providing a controlled virtual environment. We wire up a subject with EEG electrodes. The major goal of this project is to learn more about the brain and its activity and its role in wayfinding and navigation. It may look like a video game, but it's really science at work. So what we need to do is download the experimental data so that we can analyze it. When he's not moving through virtual worlds, Jürgen moves to the world outside. On weekends, I like to go to the bay and rollerblade with my wife. Today's a beautiful day for sailing. I love the ocean, I love to be on the ocean, I love to be on a boat, feeling the wind, and figuring out where you want to go and how you can get there. Not a whole lot different from sailing through his virtual creations. What I like about my work is that I have the freedom to do what I love to do, and I can do it here with equipment that I could never afford myself. Jürgen received his PhD in computer science. He encourages aspiring virtual reality scientists to just dive in and learn. Write your own computer game, learn a programming language, and learn about the mathematics and the linear algebra that's involved in computer graphics. It's very important that you build a solid foundation in mathematics and logic. So anything that's got to do with it, like physics and chemistry, and also computer science and informatics in the high school, that's important to build this background that you will need as a scientist. 
To build these kinds of virtual environments for scientific exploration, it also helps to have a healthy interest in a variety of fields. The work that I do contributes to the knowledge in science, in the medical field and in biology, architecture or archaeology or engineering, structural engineering, mechanical engineering, it can be chemistry. These environments are the future of scientific visualization. Wow, oh, the future was so cool. And in Jurgen Star Cave, the future is virtually now.